Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again this week. This week, we are talking about staying on track. So this is for those of you who are living in recovery. So staying on track, what do I mean by that? Um, mainly, I'm talking about avoiding triggers or how to deal with situations where you might be triggered. A trigger is a lot like a temptation, um, something that either it triggers a memory within you, um, or it triggers a behavior in you, or it triggers you to want to use. So for instance, an example of a trigger can be, for me, like a song. Um, I lived a, a little bit of a different lifestyle than I do today. So sometimes when I listen to a particular genre of music, I have flashbacks that bring me back to a different time in my life and it really triggers me. So what I do in that moment, I just take a deep breath and I remind myself. And one of the biggest suggestions that I could give you that was given to me is I play that tape all the way through and I remember where I ended up after all of that. And at the end of the day, I know that it wasn't worth it. Stay away from areas where you know that your drug of choice might be. I don't put myself in a position where my drug of choice might end up being in front of me. I choose a different lifestyle today and a different group of friends, um, which is an important part of the recovery process. If you haven't already done that, I highly suggest that you try to create a community of people who are like-minded or at least know your story and your situation so that you don't end up in a, in a compromising situation later on down the road. At the end of the day, if you're put in a situation where you feel triggered, my biggest piece of advice is get out of that situation and don't put yourself in those situations where you feel like you might be triggered. But if you do find yourself in those situations and you need help, please reach out. Reach out to a sponsor, a friend, a support group member, or you can visit aacalumni.com where we have tons of articles and tips on living in recovery. Um, thanks again for watching this week. Uh, we hope you'll join us again next week. Just a reminder, I'm not a licensed professional, I'm not a clinician, I'm just an addict in recovery here to share my experience, strength, and hope with you. And I hope that you're finding that here. Remember, leave me a comment, ask me a question. I'd love to address your concerns or answer any questions that you might have. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Hey guys, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs>